He's knocked out people in professional boxing. He's also knocked out people in the UFC. UFC is a champion in local MMA. He has reached the highest level ah. in MMA in the UFC. Now he's bringing his uh, elite fighting here in boxing in Vietnam. Victory. Go ahead. Yeah, very exciting fight. Interesting. The Demolition Man versus Wing Van Dong. Wing Van Dong is a fantastic fighter. He's got power, but he's also got great foot speed. He works on angles and he's really intelligent. This is a clash between raw power and athleticism alongside, hopefully, cognition from Wing Van Dong. Wing Van Dong has got fast feet. He looks to employ them, maintain movement, and not just aggression. He's likely to come out victorious because, as Power said, Lausa has the power. That one the right hand. If he yeah. lands, Dylan Lausa likes to use power punching. Uh, so I think with this guy, he might need to use some of those jabs. Yeah. You'll notice that in most of his fight, he throws power punches. Rarely uses the jab, but this time he needs to use that. Good body shot there. On a backpedaling Janao Lausa, Wing Van Dung. Very tentative, slow first round. Nice lead right by the demolition man. He's got a very sneaky lead right hand. Dung looks to counter him. Janelle Lausa rolls underneath the counters. Two minutes to go. Fight number 11, the semi main event at the featherweight limit of fixed 57 kilos. Wing Van Dung versus the demolition man. Janelle Lausa, who just uncorked a big overhand right. Dung rolled it, or didn't quite connect. Nice little left hook right hand there by Wing Van Dung. Fast hands, fast feet. And he's also got power in his own right. It's just not quite as much as um, the formidable demolition man, Janelle Lausa. Lausa looking much more relaxed. Dung with that hyperkinetic energy. Nice little lead right hand, straight left. I think it was a straight left that landed in that one. He's a clever fighter, Lausa. However, I'm seeing him throwing a lot more punches so far. Yeah, he's just busier. He hasn't hurt Laos at all, but he's just uh, he's been a little more busy, or a lot more busy, really. Let's be realistic. A busier fighter. Neither fighter has landed anything flush yet. <laughs> okay. Janelle Lauser is going to try to lure Dung into a massive right hand. Bit of humor, bit of humor from both fighters. It's kind of weird. Both of these guys like to smash people. Oh, yeah. I've seen both these guys knock people unconscious. They're Those laughing. He's gonna do a, a slam or yeah. an MMA move. <laughs> nice left hook off the back of a right hand. Good little short right hand, right hand by Lausa who looks loose. He's got heavy hands. Five seconds to go. Nice little oh. counter. That is the end of round number one. They like each other. I think they respect each other. Two mad dogs, as we see head coach, deadly Dave Hedgecock in Wing Van Dung's, uh, Dung's corner. And who's he got in the Philippines working Janelle Lausa's corner? Alongside former world champion, Gretchen Abagnale. Yeah, there you go. He's in nice, short lead right hand by Laos. He's a clever fighter. Comes across as a bit of a brute. He's got such a strong physique, he's clever. He picks his shots. He's just not throwing enough of them, pal. He's got to up the activity level in round number two of the semi-main event. Victory 8, Legends of Juan Kiem. You're in the capital city of Vietnam, Hanoi. Juan Kiem Lake. Good counter left hook there by Dung. He is fast. Yeah, he's fancy. He throws good shots. You see them bump heads there. Lausa says, hey, watch my head. 
Ying Van Dong looking to mount some serious offense. The guy's got so much energy. Lausa, not bothered. Wing Van Dong lands a good left hook there. A little bit of a slapping element to it. Wasn't a flush, hard, short, high elbowed hook. More of a slapping hook. Lausa to the body. And then looking for that big overhand right. Typically you see a heavy puncher with a big right hand go to the body with a jab. They're lining up a big right hand. It's almost always an overhand. Doing getting busy. Lausa says, come on. Wing Van Dong has got to stay smart. He's got the faster hands. He gets tagged with a hard left hook. Lausa. Yeah, he felt that. Lausa lands a nice little cheeky lead right hand. Wing Van Dong, he's got the hand speed. He's got the foot speed. He's just got to... He's got to outpoint him. He shouldn't be looking to trade. He doesn't need to come forward. Hold his distance. Move. Jab. Janelle Alausa looking very relaxed in Wing Van Dung's hometown of Hanoi. Lives just outside Hanoi. Whoa! Oh, I think that was at the same time as the pads hit. Trainer Harada over in the Filipinos corner. The nice left hook by Dung. Halfway through, round number two of fight number 11, the semi-main event. Two power punches. We've got a better boxer and a heavier hitter. Who's actually quite a bit heavier. Janelle Lausa weighed over three kilos more than doing at the unofficial weigh-in yesterday. He should give you more power at this level. Yeah. He I mean, definitely get more power. Power. He's got the power. He's just got to use it. Yeah, he needs to talk about punches. Beautiful combination there by Dung, who's taken both rounds on activity. Not on flush punches. If anything, at least in round number one, it was Lausa who, ran, who landed the flush of punches. Dung just threw more. Wing Van Dung from VSP Boxing Gym in Ho Chi Minh City, originally from, um, from Ur, Hanoi, in his hometown now. Moving along the ropes, clinching Lausa, showing he's smart. 30 seconds left. Lausa looking to move forward, try to get some offense going now. It's almost halfway through the fight. He's really got to be a little more active than this. Nice right hand. Nice right hand by Dung there. Dung likes what he sees. Good jab by Dung. Lausa. Yeah, he's got to throw he's something. Again, not utilizing any jab or anything to set up a power punch. It's round number two. Wing Van Dung likes what he sees. That's two rounds to do. Yeah, two rounds to do. I'm being told by the event organizer, the tenacious, the cautious Rob Hill. He's put together a fantastic card tonight. Perhaps the no, not perhaps. It's definitely the best boxing card I've ever seen. So many fantastic matchups. Wonderfully matched. So much competition. Very. No one was outclassed. Yes, Billy Cliff, the Southpaw Dynamo, stopped his fighter in Van Tan Chung in the, uh, the third round. But that was still an excellent matchup between two highly skilled Southpaws. And you can see here, it's just Wing Van Dung with more inspiration, more energy. What, would, what are you seeing thus far, Pau, from the Philippines? You know, as I said, you know, let's just turn our jab. Yeah. It's hard uh, not to. You know, that punch can still come, that power punch can still come and yeah. could end the fight. Janelle Lassa looking to put on a little more pressure now. Oh, he's really putting on the pressure. Wing Van Dung, some good clinches there. I mean, some good punches then falling into a clinch. Massive right uppercut. Good check hook by Dung and then a good double jab right hand. The crowd's into it. I'm into it. And the fighters are definitely into it. Janelle Lassa starting with some more energy. He needs to make this a brawl. Yeah, he needs to make it a brawl. Dung's just going to pick him apart otherwise, and he's going to impress the judges with the faster footwork and the better angles. Good jab to the body by Dung. Probably setting up an overhand right. Good lead right by Janelle Lausa. Left hook to the body. Dung blocks it. Another lead right. Janelle Lausa's got such heavy hands. Soft shoe shine combination by Dung, but it will sway the judges. 
Which is true of already. Dung has been a vastly more active fighter. He lands a hard left hook. Janelle Laos has got a chin of iron right, pal. Yes, exactly. But he needs to test that iron fist as well. Yeah, yeah, he's got yeah. to uncorks and punches, Still man. He's got to let his hands go. Yes. His wingman Dung walks counts. him into a massive right hand there. Obviously, yeah. Janelle Laos, built of iron, walks through a hard jab, but uh, he's not landing anything. Wingman Dung is putting on a clinic at this point. He's really found his range, his feet, he's relaxed. He makes Janelle Lauser look a little bit silly. But he's got to keep that left hand up, especially when he's circling to his own left. He's moving into the power hand of the power puncher, who just lets a massive and loose left hook go. Janelle Lauser, unpredictable. That was a massive left hook, reminiscent of a Cameroon transplant to Australia, Sakio Bika. They've got similar styles, crafty, they inch forward. They've got a more loose style, they're unpredictable, and they've both got dynamite in both hands. We've talked about the, the right hand power, but the left hooks of Janelle Lauser are massive as well. He's just got to throw more of them. Yeah, yeah, he's been throwing a lot of power punches, but not hitting really good. He's getting yeah. get tagged with those short punches. <laughs> It's pretty funny by Laos, but it's not going to win him the fight. That looks actually funny. He looks so calm. He's obviously virtually immune to punishment. But uh, Wing Dan, Wing Dan Dung is just outpointing him, starting to really pick him apart. As you see there, a beautiful counter, left hook, right hand. Janelle Laos is not hurt, and he says, I'm not hurt. But he's not scoring. Good counter, left hook by Dung. Ten seconds to go. The third round. The third of four rounds. The semi-made event. One detail I like the change in Wing Van Dung's approach. Let's keep that left hand up, especially when you're moving into the power hand. Janelle Laos, who's got one punch power. One punch power means you can end a fight with one punch. Having said that, wonderful display thus far by Wing Van Dung. Free to nil. How the Filipino, you're not saying a whole lot. Yeah, well, you know what? I've been saying this, I'm worried about the speed of the opponent. He's got the power, Janelle got the power. He's not hitting the board. 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 He's not
Janelle Lauser, he's had how many pr professional fights, pal? More than 10 fights. More than 10, okay. No knockdown. No knockdown, he's just slipped again. Nice he's cannon undefeated. jab at the same time. He's undefeated. I think uh, he's probably not used to the four round format. Yeah, 10, 10 rounds, 12 rounds. Yeah. We well, knew it was four rounds coming into this. He's got to show the haste. He's so strong. He's got heavy hands. Virtually impervious to punishment. He's just got to move forward more. Just using the time, going left yeah. Right Beautiful left hook. And a, oh, it's a knockdown. That's actually a knockdown. I don't think Laus is hurt. Oh, the referee's not going to call it. Laus uh, fell over at the same time as he wore a flush punch. I don't think he was hurt for a second, but that's technically okay. a, ro a that's knockdown. Yeah, it's, well, if you hit an, if you hit your opponent, he falls over. It's a knockdown. Oh wow, beautiful right up. Got left hook. That was the one that landed. Again, Lauser. He's not bothered at all. He's so strong. Ten seconds to go. Wing Van Dong. Again, maybe it's the Nike Airs. Get a bad bad press for Nike Airs. If they are Nike Airs. I think they're uh, Everlast. Whatever they are. <laughs> Wing Van Dong with a victory. Very good fight. Wing Van Dong, definitive victory. Snell Laos are very tough. But, uh, that's Wing Van Dong's fight. More ideas, more angles, more energy, and a huge diversity of punches. That's my suddenly very silent Filipino commentator compatriot. Looks on. Mere formality, we know Wing Van Dong won, won definitively, that's four rounds to none. In what was still a good fight, Wing, Wing Van Dong threw almost all the punches, but Laos had moments of success. He connected with a few flush lead right hands, throws in a backflip. Just needed a little more energy in the fight, right, pal? Yeah, he did. Đây là một trận đấu rất nhiều cảm xúc và xuyên chút nữa chúng ta đã chứng kiến một trận nốc cao theo đúng nghĩa. Và thưa quý vị, đây là một trong những trận đấu được đánh giá rất cao. Nhưng điểm nhấn của chúng ta vẫn còn ở phía trước. Ngày hôm nay các võ sĩ đã cố gắng hết sức mình để công hiến kỹ năng chiến đấu, bản lĩnh của một võ sĩ và hơn hết đó là một màn trình diễn mãn nhãn tới những khán giả tại quảng trường Đông Kinh Nghĩa Thục ngày hôm nay. Và bây giờ chắc chắn rất nhiều quý vị khán giả cũng đang đoán xem chiến thắng thuộc về võ sĩ nào. Tuy nhiên với boxing chuyên nghiệp, <cười> các trọng tài sẽ có những really tiêu chí rất cụ easy. thể và cần phải có một con mắt tinh anh để nhận punches, diện ra Vendom, từng tiêu chí, từng điểm số dành lost, cho các võ sĩ tham dự. Và bây giờ spirit. với bảng điểm mà chúng tôi đang có trong tay, nó gọi tên người chiến thắng. Người chiến thắng trong trận đấu này đó là võ sĩ Nguyễn Văn Đường. Congratulations Vietnamese boxer Nguyễn Văn Đường and we would like to invite Mr. Hoàng Long from Red Bull come on stage to deliver the trophy to our winner today. Vietnam wins again. I'm gonna get Wing Van Dong. Good work, Dave Hedgecock. Cornered Wing Van Dong. I'm gonna get a, a very concise, point-centric series of answers from Wing Van Dong. Ladies and gentlemen, a little, Wing Van Dong. I can't stress so enough. A little. Red Bull Congratulations to Wing Van Dong, the best boxer. Và thưa quý vị cũng giống như Nguyễn Thị Đâm thì Nguyễn Văn Đường cũng là một trong những võ sĩ có được sự hỗ trợ và tài trợ rất rất đắc lực nhiệt tình từ phía Red Bull. Thanks. Thank you, Peter Hoàng Long. Và một lần nữa xin được chúc mừng võ sĩ của chúng ta, Nguyễn Văn Đường.